And in my playbook tonight, I think it's gut check time for the Democrats across the country. Stop running from health care reform. New polls show Democrats are trailing in three states. President Obama won in 2008. Russ Feingold in Wisconsin, he's down by six points. Senator Michael Bennett is trailing by five in Colorado. And Congressman Joe Sestek is down by five in Pennsylvania. But there's still hope for Democrats this year down in Florida. Maybe this is the way to do it. Congressman Alan Grayson. He is a strong liberal. He's sticking to the progressive principles. And so far, my friends, it is paying off. Today, the nation reported Grayson's pollsters have him up by 13 points against his Republican challenger, Daniel Webster. And keep in mind, it's in a district that was represented by a Republican for 25 years before Grayson took office last year. Grayson has been successful by going after it by t sticking right with his gut instincts and just hammering the Republicans with videos like this. What's the Democratic defense play on that? Tell the Republicans, stop lying. This guy is what it's all about. Congressman Alan Grayson of Florida joins us here on The Ed Show. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. First of all, I admire your tenacity, your honesty, and your, your, your fight when there's a lot of Democrats that are lacking confidence right now. How is this being received when you go out and about and meet people? It's great. You know, Ed, the, the most inspiring thing is that it's not just me. It's all the people who are behind me, all the people who support me. That's why there were 13 points up on the polls. That's why 50,000 people have come to the website, congresswomanwithguts.com, and made a contribution to our campaign. It's not me. I'm just saying what everyone else is thinking. Do they appreciate this aggressive style? I hear it on my radio show a lot. A lot of Americans are saying, you know, I wish the Democrats would get out there and get fight. You seem to get and, and really get after it and fight harder and stick up for the accomplishments that have taken place in the last 23 months. Uh, I'm just telling the truth, Ed. That's all there is to it. I mean, how did it get to be that that seemed to be aggressive, to just simply say the truth? It's like Harry Truman said, you know, I'm not giving them hell. I'm just telling the truth. They think it's hell. What do you say about health care reform? Are you proud to go out on the campaign trail and say, look, this is good stuff. Are you using that? I systematically tell the people who I'm talking to why it's good for them. I tell people without insurance, you're going to get coverage. You're going to be able to see a doctor when you need to. I tell people with insurance that the affordability credits are going to help to pay for their insurance, and they won't be paying any longer indirectly through the emergency room care for the people who don't have care. And I tell seniors that they're going to be able to be better off because finally, once and for all, the Medicare Advantage scam artists will have to at least give them 85 cents on the dollar on their care instead of taking all that money and putting it in their own pockets, and they won't have to pay yeah. any longer for the donut hole, and they won't have to pay any longer for co-payments for ordinary care. I explain it to people. They understand it. What you see in the polls over and over again is the people who don't like health care reform don't understand health care reform. Well, is, are the Democrats making mistakes? Some Democrats are even uh, running ads against it. Uh, are they making a mistake? Is there enough, are there enough great things in this bill that Democrats should be proud of? I think we have to be proud. The first TV that I ad that I ran in this campaign in my district was an ad explaining to people that I brought home $200 million to keep our schools open. We have to explain to people the benefit of what we do, why we had a recovery plan, why we had Wall Street reform, why we did all these different things, why we had health care reform. We explain it to people. In my district, they understand it. That's why I'm 13 points up.